New Jihad just dropped. <laughs> flood Jihad. The conspiracy that Muslims manufactured devastating floods. This year, two massive waves of flooding hit the state of Assam, India, as the rains and storms were heavier than usual. The flooding caused significant damage and, and the death of 192 people. Amid such devastation, yet another anti-Muslim conspiracy theory became a heated topic of discussion. The quote-unquote flood jihad conspiracy claims that the Muslim community of Assam is responsible for the disastrous floods by way of purposefully sabotaging local embankments and flood protection mechanisms. Four Muslim men were accused and arrested as, the cons as this conspiracy theory went viral on social media platforms. On July 3rd, Nazir Hussein Lak uh, Laskar, a construction worker that had worked for more than a decade on the state's anti-flood projects, was arrested by police. According to the authorities, the embankment constructed on the Barak River to protect the nearby cities from floods was tampered with by Laskar. Even though the investigation had no evidence to accuse Laskar, he was detained for nearly 20 days on suspicion before he was being before being released on bail. Even after his release, Laskar had to maintain a low profile because he was afraid of being lynched by an angry mob. Uh, Nirmala Chowdhury, a associate professor at the uh, Jem Set Setji Tata Institute of Disaster Studies in Mumbai, stated, quote, some of the flooding could also be human induced. There were instances where people deliberately breached the embankment so that the water could move out and not flood their area. But he emphasized that this was not this was done for pragmatic, not communal reasons. So I wanted to talk about this because I'm always excited to talk about a new jihad. Okay. New day, new jihad. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for people who don't know, the people who are watching a clipped version of this, we just covered another jihad, education jihad, right before this one. So we have back-to-back -back new jihads dropping in. But yeah, go on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I thought this was very interesting because, so part of what happened is that, you know, in Assam, there were these crazy floods where over the course of three months, they got as much rain as they usually do within the span of a year. And unfortunately, a lot of the infrastructure is old, it's deteriorated, like 70% of it needs to be completely redone, it's outdated. And so there, all this flooding and the bad infrastructure caused the deaths of almost 200 people. And part of what caused this issue is after this happened, the chief minister, so that's basically like the governor of the state, made a statement where he said, oh, like there's some... <laughs> It's so hard to talk when the live chat interrupts me with hilarity. D is saying jihad is a way of life. That's goddamn right, D. <laughs> Anyways, so the chief minister made this statement where he said, like, basically, oh, there's some evidence that this is ma this man-made or that there was human involvement. And people took that and ran with it and made this a Muslim versus Hindu thing because in one particular area there's like one town that is majority Muslim and that's where the embankment was that was damaged and broke and then because it broke over there it flooded this Hindu town majority Hindu town in Silchar and so they're saying oh like look at where this was look at where the flooding happened like look at the difference in communities like i think there's a, there's something at play here i think that, that the federal government needs to take a deeper look at what's going on here and there were all these right-wing media outlets like news x that just went with this ran with it and were really blowing up and promoting this conspiracy theory and um it's just it's really frustrating because there was some a lot of people are in local journalists journalists are saying yes there was some human involvement because people the the dams would hold back the water but then that would cause local people's areas to get waterlogged and so because they're like well shoot like now my area is waterlogged like i'm screwed i have to go fix this and even the local administration would sometimes go breach 
little area so that it could kind of drain and then close it up again. So they would go do this themselves. Now they're not allowed to, they're not supposed to. So there is some level of people tampering with this that did happen, but it wasn't because of like a, a religious conspiracy John. theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just got blown way out of proportion. And now it's just negligence, not a job. Yeah. Four to, I mean, and there was already negligence in terms of like this needs, this is the flooding in the psalm is something that happens like on an annual basis. This was just really, really bad. And the governments aren't acting to fix it accordingly. And now it has this communal angle to it. And like four to five people have been arrested without charge or w without evidence, I mean. And their lives are messed up. Like one person that was interviewed by the BBC who was falsely accused, he had been working on as pay, paid by the government to fix these in, in, in embankments for 16 years. He'd been working for anti-flood prevention measures for 16 years. And they're, that's who they accuse and arrest for this. Um, and he's like, I had, I have to pull my kids out of school because of the danger towards us. When I leave the house, I have to cover my face in a helmet because I don't want people to see me. Um, so this has like very severe consequences to people. Um, <laughs> Dornob had is saying jihad prayers, jihad floods, jihad ice cream, jihad bath towels, jihad eyeshadow, jihad smiles, jihad eggplants, jihad drawings, jihad cows, jihad donations, jihad <laughs> jelly beans, jihad toothpicks. Okay, but actually, jihad condoms. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, which should be a but, brand. You know these 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 little these recent jihads that have been dropped, Armin, have actually raised an important question to me that I, I want to discuss with you. Okay. So, you know, Hindutva, they, they, they like to use the accusations of anything plus jihad as a way to like demonize, demonize Muslims and bl blame them for like anything that goes wrong. Right. Or anything that they don't like. Okay. But they have unexpectedly created a very recognizable franchise. Okay. Cause obviously we like to hop on this. We're like, Oh, new jihad just dropped. Let's go. Let's dive into mm -hmm. it. Okay. I'm, you caught my attention. Am I interested? Okay. So my question is, we have to join the Jihad franchise. Okay. okay? So okay. Armin, what would your personal Jihad be? I've been trying to figure out what my Jihad would be. My Jihad? Hmm. I was thinking Atheist Republic, a very easy one would be Blasphemy Jihad. Because obviously, you know, we do the blasphemy against the Hindu goddesses. Like that's obviously we're we're jihading the goddesses, obviously, and there's a, you know some love jihad art in our blasphemous art project. So I mean, there we go. That, that's an easy connection. But for myself, I've been trying to figure out what my jihad would be. What would I declare jihad on? Mm. No, no, you have to. You, it's not what you declare jihad on. It's what you use for your jihad. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Mm, mm. I want to use puppies, but I don't know if that's going to work. Puppies are haram. <laughs> Puppy jihad. <laughs> Puppy jihad. Um, love jihad is already taken. Anything sexual is already like, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, love, it's already love jihad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, you know, you know, the, and so the already two best things in life have been taken sex and, well, I mean, puppies and, uh, is a, and puppies are on. On Islamic, so I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what do, do you have anything? Sex and I don't. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I can imagine what you're thinking right now. People are saying sex jihad. Love jihad is already sex jihad, so I don't need yeah, yeah, coffee yeah. jihad. People are saying, but I yeah. I think puppy jihad is a good way to sneak in through and get people out of Islam because puppies are too, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Gay jihad. What is gay jihad? Gay jihad is when you would not, is when gay men, Muslim mm -hmm. gay men, try to do love jihad on gay Hindu men and women versus women. Okay. No, but this is yeah. supposed to be your jihad. 
Oh, my dear. I'm You're sorry. not a gay Muslim man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. But are we, what is the goal? Are we trying to uh, spread Islam? It could just be your own personal prerogative. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Submission, okay. Islam, Islam, because uh, submission, Islam, okay? But Islam already means submission, okay? But like one of them is like religious, the other one is, um, you know, bondage and BDSM related, right? We're bringing the true submission, like sub, the real meaning of submission to to Islam. How about that? Well, S M S M jihad. Like yes, music there you I go. Said. Yeah, okay. B D S M jihad. B D S M, B D S M jihad. B D S M jihad. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's true. We can yeah. spread Islam through the submission in B D S M. Yeah, we could actually make it act like you are. This is what Shias do. Actually, the Shias already do that. So you could like get your kink desires satisfied by pretending that this is a religious ritual. Okay, so we could get like we could like get tie people up and just like beat the crap out of them with whips and act like they're doing. We're doing this mm -hmm. to show their submission mm -hmm. to Islam. Okay and you could you could ignore the fact that they're dripping on the floor okay that's just their <laughs> while we're doing it <laughs> just like pay that? no one you know mind yes, yes yes just get like muslim women and tie them up and whip them and have somebody to just mop the floor mm -hmm. every five minutes <laughs> yeah just wipe the cum <laughs> in tears <laughs> <laughs> and tears yes yes good i got it that's my that's my yeah yeah bdsm as uh, jihad okay you're not gonna mention yours any any <laughs> well i think it will depends on how you phrase it i think because it has to be what you use to to implement the jihad right so i think mine might technically be white girl jihad because I have a ridiculous amount of religious men who propose to me, even mm -hmm. though I crap on their religion. So mm -hmm. I think I think that might be me. Yeah, actually, that's kind of already like within my realm. Like, I think they're fantasy. You know how some a lot of people. It, like it would be different you. if it was who I declared jihad on. Mm -hmm. You know, we should make like a. We, if we had like atheist republic only fans account okay we could make a video of like a religious man being tied up and you're making fun of their prophet in front of them you know what i mean like humiliating the religion you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like and they were like ah getting so angry like i think i think a lot of people fences no i don't think they would be angry like i've literally no. had like muslim men message me like asking me to send them personal videos of me insulting islam wow okay yeah so their kink yeah, yeah, yeah. is what they're even though they're muslim their kink is a white girl insulting islam to insult to humiliate them yeah no no but like but like an like an atheist white girl atheist white girl yes. yeah yeah <laughs> hey doorknob is enjoying that actually <laughs> <laughs> mustafa yeah. had the funniest comment he's like i miss this podcast the conversations i walk into <laughs> Do you get this anywhere else? Come on, guys. We, I would like got... everyone else to, you know, in the chat or in, in the comments, what is your jihad? What would you use to wage jihad? Think about it. I and just then also, to... who, who would you declare jihad on? Because for me, like, what I use to declare the jihad is apparently just me. But <laughs> <laughs> who I declare it on is it? That's a different, you know, that's different. I just want to remind people that we got here from this. Okay, <laughs> we, we have a <laughs> me and Susie have the, have managed to. This is what you get with Atheist Republic. That's what we managed to turn right. a story about a flood in India. Okay, to to humiliating a Muslim men to satisfy their kink. By insulting their prophet, okay. This is this is this is a this is the atheist republic. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> okay, okay. I mean, uh, I think I think it's a logical conclusion. It's really. only logical conclusion. Obviously, it's only logical conclusion. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> from flood jihad to only fans <laughs> yes atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight Link in the description below.